partners Mia and Earl and we are going to tackle about protein denaturation. Protein denaturation is a process where there are interventions affecting the natural composition of the protein, specifically the hydrogen bonds that holds together the amino acid groups. It's either the monosaccharide, disaccharide group, or the polysaccharide that forms together the protein since the amino acids are the building blocks of protein. That is why it is called protein denaturation because it is the process of changing the natural composition natural composition of the protein into something new, natural, denatural. This protein denaturation is frequently used when cooking food as for example in this clip. The materials for this experiment are as follows. The first process of this experiment is making an egg albino by using egg white and distilled water and mix them together. And the second is placing this egg albino by different glass variables for the different interventions on this experiment. What happens is that when there is presence of heat, the molecules of the egg white or the egg albino move so rapidly as the kinetic energy increases that it tends to break the weak linkages of the protein allowing the exposure of the hydrophobic molecules to the water leading to the water attaching to the hydrophilic regions while the hydrophobic water heating layers dissolves into one another which is responsible for creating a solid state composition which this white color represents and this is called coagulation a quick trivia did you know that if we are having a fever it is a natural response of the body to heat up in order for it to denature the protein structure of an invading pathogen such as a virus to exterminate it when using strong acid such as this calamansi juice the presence of this strong acid changes the pH of the protein, allowing it to be more charged leading to accumulation of acid anions and creates a white precipitate, as observed in the video. When using an alkaline such as this baking soda, it is also the same reaction as of an acid. However, it changes the protein into a basic state, affecting the salt bridges of the protein, causing it to have white precipitates.
with alcohol, the alcohol splits the intermolecular hydrogen bonds of the secondary and tertiary structure of the protein, causing side chains to create a newly hydrogen bonds leading to the white precipitate as observed in the protein solution. Using a table salt in protein denaturation, it affects or alters the salt bridges of the stabilization unit of the ionic interactions between the opposite charges of amino acids on the protein surface. Which you can see there is a white precipitate that formed in the solution. Same goes when using an inorganic fertilizer such as urea that it weakens the intermolecular hydrogen bonds of the secondary and tertiary structure of the protein causes, causing this precipitate in the protein. That is all folks for this experiment. I hope you have learned a lot and stay tuned for more science related experiments.